Hello and welcome. You are now looking at the desktop application Microsoft Excel. The Microsoft Excel is designed to take data in the form of numbers and words and to create sensible analysis from it. It allows you to produce these documents and customize them in ways that make sense for the people that you are delivering the information to. Now, In this course we will look at various aspects of the creation process. We'll take a look at the basic elements of each menu. The file menu, the home menu, the insert menu, the page layout menu, the formulas menu, the data menu, the review menu, and the view menu so that you will be able to create your own spreadsheets as well as enter and manipulate data. Okay, so with that, thanks and I'll see you in the first video. Welcome back. Now the interface of Microsoft Excel is designed to be similar to other Microsoft Office programs. For example, when you see the menu across the top, you'll notice that it's very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Word. In fact, you'll notice that the home menu is going to be very much the same. Microsoft Excel has what is called the formula bar, and the formula bar is going to pertain to whatever cell that you have highlighted. So for example, if we write the word Google into the cell that we have highlighted, you'll notice the word Google inside of the address bar. That will be the same if you have numbers in there also. And you'll notice that here. So if you highlight this cell, what you want to do is you want to write into the address bar to make changes. When you first click on a cell, you can write to that cell However, if you go back subsequently, it may be more difficult and what you want to do is use the address bar. You'll notice the word sheets at the bottom. You'll notice the word sheet at the bottom, which stands for spreadsheet. And every workbook has several spreadsheets. So the file that you're going to save can have an unlimited number of worksheets inside of it. So for example, what we can do is we can click this button that says new sheet. We can add a second sheet. We can add a third sheet, a fourth sheet, and as many as we need. In order to make sure that these sheets are going to be identifiable, we can rename them and we can click the rename button. And Excel will allow us to write in to this area. We can do the same thing for any other sheet. and then we can write in to make changes. In some cases, you're going to want to see more of the worksheet at a glance. And so you can do that by zooming in and making the sheet so that you can see more of it. You can also zoom out of the sheet where you can see the cells larger but less of it. As is always the case, in all Microsoft Office programs, you'll have the opportunity to redo your last action. You can do that and by checking in all of the areas in which you have worked before and you can go back over your work and redo certain steps. Now the bottom bar is also going to be customizable. If you go to this very bottom bar and you right click it, you'll notice that you can add in any information that you want to have here shown on your status bar because as you're working inside of your cells this status bar will tell you what's happening inside of the cell. And finally just as you would inside of any other Microsoft Office program each menu is going to have certain panels. For example if we look at the home menu we'll see the clipboard panel, the font panel, alignment panel, number panel, styles panel, cells panel, editing panel. And you've seen similar designs with Word where you've got the clipboard panel, font panel, paragraph panel, styles panel, and editing panel. Same again with similarities with the clipboard panel, slides panel, fonts, paragraph, drawing, and editing. And we are now ready to begin working with the file menu. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in the next video. Welcome back. Now in this video, we're first going to take a look at the file menu. And to do that, we're going to go to the left side. We're going to click on the file. You're going to see this area open up. 
So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click inside of this first link which says info. Now this tab has all property information that you can edit before you save your file. So for example, what you can do is you can obviously write in the name of the document when you save it. You can tag the document with specific attributes and you can even add a category to the document. What this does is add to the metadata when someone gets the document or saves it. If you want to add in attribution or someone that's worked on the document, you can add that author in by clicking in this link. You can expand the list of properties by clicking this area and you'll then have other metadata you can put in such as your company or your brand. Now because Microsoft Excel is shareable across the web, we can determine how it's going to be viewed inside of a browser and we can control that by clicking this browser view options button. For example, if we have more than one worksheet, we can determine that only one of those worksheets can be seen on the web. Note that we now have four workbooks. What we can do is we can determine that there are only going to be a certain number of sheets that can be seen and we can determine that here. We can determine that the only thing that's going to be visible online is going to be certain items in the workbook. And obviously these are things that are going to be highlighted and tagged. For example, if we are inside of Excel and we determine that we are going to use this item and that's the only thing we want to be seen on the web, what we can do is we can say that we are going to define a name for this. We're going to call this name region. We're then going to click OK. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our file command. We're now going to click inside of our browser options. We're now going to say that we only want certain items in the workbook to be seen and we're going to be able to click this button that says region. Now in the next video we'll look at the rest of the items in the file menu. Okay so with that thanks and I will see you in another video. Welcome back. We're now going to go to the file command and we're now going to take a look at this new link. And what you're going to notice is that you have several pre-planned ways for you to start working with Excel. You can start with the plain blank workbook. In most cases, this is where you're going to start working with your document. You can also have what are called templates and you'll see those here. For example, you'll see an expense trends budget, you'll see a back to school planner, and these are starter templates that will help you to start creating a document from something that's pre-planned. Now we will take a look at this in depth in another video. We can also go to open an existing document and so by clicking this document we can find any open Excel documents on our hard drive. Of course we know that saving our documents we would use these two links as well as saving the entire document as a PDF file. Now obviously you're going to print from this menu but printing is going to be a little more involved because in some cases you're only going to be printing certain parts of your document. Now again we're going to look at that in a separate video in depth. In the last video we talked about sharing the document or having it viewed online. We can click this link to share the document with someone else. When we click save to cloud this document is going to be saved to a specific OneDrive location. Now you do need to have OneDrive with Microsoft Office and this will be saved to your account. We can email the document as an attachment to an email. We can also present the document online. This basically allows us to use Microsoft Excel inside of a program like Skype Meeting as part of Office 365 and to collaborate with people in real time on the actual document that we're working on. Now again, we'll be using the document in OneDrive, however, we'll be using some of Microsoft Office online meeting facilities in order to do that. Now we can export the content in our Microsoft Office document to other locations. So for example, we can export this document into a PDF and we can actually change the file type. Now in Microsoft Excel, this is going to work the same as saving the document as another kind of document and changing the name. However, it also exists inside of the export command. You can publish your document to Power BI and Power BI is a paid solution for business intelligence. You can close the document that you're working on and this will take you back to the beginning. Now, one thing that will determine how you'll interact with Microsoft Excel will be this options link. 
Now, when you're new with working with Microsoft Excel, you'll probably want to leave the default settings as they are. However, you will want to be familiar with each and every one of these areas because if you hit a point at which you need to do something different, Microsoft Excel is adaptable. So you have areas where you can adapt how you interact with formulas, with data, how you check over your work, how you save your document or how it auto saves, the language, and more advanced options that you'll just want to be familiar with mildly. You can customize your ribbons as well as your toolbar. And at a glance, you can look at what programs are working with or inside of your Microsoft Excel. And this can be important because if your Microsoft Excel is not performing adequately or if it's performing slow, in some cases, it can be an add-in that may be slowing it down. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.